What's up, guys? Finally getting a little bit of a break in the crazy weather up here in Washington. So I thought I would finally get around to installing the Giga N1 exhaust for the Acti. Now, Giga makes a, an N1, which is this like squared off canister looking style. And then Giga also makes an ST, which I think looks more like the wires win where it's kind of more, um, kind of just all flows to the tip almost. It's not as abrupt can shaped as the uh, N1, but on my sandbars, I have a muffler that is similar to this shape. So I figured, hey, let's just stick with the similar um, mufflers that kind of all flow together. And everybody seems to have the wireless winds or if I'm saying it correctly or incorrect, my bad. Um, it seems like everybody's got those exhausts, so I wanted to try something different. Um, I heard this one might be a little bit of a deeper tone than the wireless, so that's kind of what we're, we're looking for. I mean, nothing against those high-pitched, whiny Honda Civics, but I want something a little, little deeper. So hopefully we get that deep tone out of this. So if, you're, if you've been in the market for looking for an exhaust for your van or your truck, supposedly the HH3 and the HA3 or HH4 and HA4 are the same, but this one specifically said on the listing in Yahoo Auctions, it was made for an HH3. Again, I don't know what the difference is, but other people have said they the truck and the vans work the same. So just to be safe, I got the HH3 as it said in the title. So again, it could probably fit both ways. I'm not sure what the difference is unless there's this bend is a little bit lower, so it fits down lower. I don't have any idea. But anyways, I'm super excited to put it on. And then if, again, if you're in the market, you can hear what this guy sounds like. And it seems like everybody's got a wireless win. So um, hopefully, you know, it sounds a little bit better or just more unique than the wireless. So yeah, let's get to it. So let's get under the truck and see what we're working with. So obviously we have a hanger there. Uh, we probably, oh man, let's see what we got over here. Yeah, there's a hanger, there's a hanger up. Let's see, there's a hanger up there. We also have the heater tubes for the heat chamber that are gonna need to be disconnected and rerouted <clears throat> so this is uh let's get up in here there we go okay so right there in the middle that's one bolt we gotta release on the flange and then let's see oh, man and there is the other bolt there and the other bolt there so those two bolts or nuts actually i'm sorry those are nuts those two nuts need to be um released obviously because we're gonna have to reuse those uh nut and bolts and then there's the hanger we're gonna have to unhook there as well so this is an after cat um or cat back exhaust so it just disconnects there and that's some probably this is probably some kind of resonator or something in there and then obviously the muffler. So like I was saying, I don't want to cut anything because we want to keep um, this truck, everything good on it. So in case we sell it, we can put all the stuck stock stuff back on. So let's start with those bolts. Those look like 12 or 13 mils and see how hard they are to break. Okay, so what I'm actually gonna do first is give it some, uh, some penetration. Move on the bolts. So hopefully that will help. We're breaking them. I'm using the flash as a light at the moment. Uh, okay. So we'll see if that helps break those bolts because they look pretty rusty. Okay, so the one on the right there in the middle of the screen, uh, that one's loosened up. 
And now I gotta try to figure out how I'm gonna reach in there and get that guy. Okay, so I'm, I'm figuring this as I go along to kind of give you guys some pointers. Um, so I just realized there are heat shields that are on top of the stock exhaust like this. Um, there's just two, uh, three, three studs on this one. So take the bolts, the nuts off of these, this heat shield, and then it will allow you to turn it up over the exhaust and it will give you much better access to the flange bolts in there because the top one, or I should say the one to the left, um, is a little more difficult to get to, especially if it's rusted. I try using a universal, um, a little uni joint um, socket uh, adapter and it's so rusted it didn't even do anything. So if you get that shield off, now you have way better access. I'll show you guys. Okay, so that shield was, man, this is just really difficult to film this at the same time. So that shield was right here. You can see where that hole is right there. It went through there, went over basically the flange right here. So you know my uni joint stuck on that bolt because it's so rusted. So I'm gonna whack that thing off. And now we can get a much better um, access to that nut that is completely um, rusted on there. And that will make it a, a lot easier to try to remove. So tip on that take that heat shield off and get way better access oh, be gone with you oh shoot okay oh got it ah. Ah. <laughs> the behemoth of mufflers has been removed okay so how I got to this man Got to this uh, bolt up here. Oh, that thing's loose. Oh, uh, wow, I moved that. Okay, so I, how I got into that guy was I took the heat shield that was off the top of the muffler. I kind of pointed that out already. And then I disconnected the heater hose that went through this subframe, which then goes over to your air box. Um, so then I could get an impact in it go straight into that guy and then obviously you got to release all the rubber hangers one two and there's one right there three um these heater hoses obviously uh aren't gonna be working anymore because i don't have the stock exhaust but we'll just plug those up so no dirt gets in them and whatnot and if you have the giga it doesn't come with a new what do we call this a donut yeah donut gasket donut gasket so we're gonna use the stock one which it looks fine to me i mean it's not in any bad shape at all so we're just gonna put it back up in there and then the giga exhaust uses one hanger so it mounts up to this one closest to the bumper so then we're gonna reuse obviously the rubber uh rubber hanger dealy and get it all bolted up but i think we're gonna put a a little bit of high temp silicone on this and to hold it in place while we get the other exhaust on there so it doesn't move and get any leaks. Go ahead. All right, let's put the giggy, giggy. Let's see. So the flange on the, on the cat on the stock side can turn so you're gonna have to turn it to line it up with the flange on the giga there we go all right let's fire this thing up let's see if we got any exhaust leaks
just want to see if it sounds what it sounds like. Sounds like it's gonna sound like stock. <laughs> That's an edit it. Hold on. Go wrap it up. Let it blow right out. Hold on. Hold on. Alright. Okay, go. Exhaust installed. You guys heard it. Scott, don't hide. <laughs> oh man. Hide. Wait, I'm wearing I'm wearing merch. Oh yeah. Check out my merch, bro. Way before the fame. Shut up. Should... Gunfire. <laughs> yes, Shot. <yeah. laughs> Shots fired. So here is the Giga N1. Like I said, it looks a little looks a little cooler, I think, than the virus because it's more can. Bigger. More can shaped. Bigger? Yeah, I think it's bigger. Well, it's not, it doesn't have like the swooping to the tip. Yeah. It's like more squared off, which matches our other sandbars. And you heard it. It sounds, it still sounds really quiet. It's, <laughs> I thought it was going to be louder, but then again, we're used to our sandbars just ripping. Ble making your ears bleed. <laughs> yeah. But so it's, it's a good, quiet, not quiet, but it sounds better in stock and it's not going to be obnoxious at the same time. The only thing obnoxious about it is changing it it's not easy there's a lot of rusted bolts we'll be pissing off the old man neighbors around here yeah he won't be getting any noise complaints you could do they make mufflers for that yeah that's what you, you hear would, you, would, you would think if you were testing in a cemetery you wouldn't bother anybody <laughs> that's a good point we are, we are people we are being nice that's so expensive real estate dude people dying to get in there <laughs> this guy's got jokes all day dad jokes and shit so there it is. It comes with a silencer. Doesn't really need it, in my opinion. No. It does make it pretty quiet. But you do drop about 40, what do you say, 30, 30 pounds? Yeah, close to it. At least 30 pounds with the stock exhaust system. And like I said, you're gonna have to reroute the, the heater hoses. But there you go, that's the Gig N1. If that's what you want, you heard it. Um, maybe we'll go do a drive-by so you can hear it out on the street. Um, and you can hear the ducks too. No, that I can hear. <laughs> but yeah, cool. Thanks for watching, guys. Uh, maybe we'll do a drive by real quick and see what it sounds like. So, what's the verdict, Scott? Do we like the Giga N1 exhaust? Sounds good, man. I think it sounds pretty good. Racy racy quiet racy like not obnoxious not racy. obnoxious racy not sandbar obnoxious racy. no if you guys seen the videos of our sandbars they're pretty loud this is probably i would say a halfway zone to the the sound of stock giga and then our sandbars our sandbars are like ears bleed <laughs> this is quiet it's not quiet but it sounds good and it's not obnoxious it's not like look at me i'm fast because we're obviously not fast but it's like a good, it's a good tone for sure. I'm happy with it. And it looks cool, it looks way cooler with the can sticking out the That's back. the most important thing. Yeah, we're going for looks. So yeah, cool. Take it easy guys, thanks for watching.